After you've recorded your PowerPoint presentation, you have the option to produce or edit your recording. When you choose the Edit option, Camtasia Studio opens and your recording is automatically placed in the clip bin and on the timeline. If your PowerPoint contains slide notes, you can import them to be used as captions. For this example, I will click No, but this option could be very helpful if you wanted to add captions to your video project. Just like any other recording that is placed on the timeline for the first time, a Project Settings window appears. Project Settings are designed to give you an accurate view in the preview window of what your produced video will look like. Be sure to choose the preset that best fits the way you are planning to distribute your video. So for this project, I will select the web preset because I want to post this video to a website. Since this is a PowerPoint recording, by default, the resizing options will scale your video to your chosen preset dimensions, but it will not apply Smart Focus. I'll then click OK. In the preview window, you can see that my project resized to 640 by 480, which is the recommended dimensions for playback in a browser. So by choosing the preset that matches the way I want to produce my video, I now can see an accurate preview in the preview window of what my final video will look like. Alright, let's take a look at the timeline. You'll notice that the project file already has some markers assigned to it. These markers indicate the beginning of each slide in your presentation. You have many choices for editing your presentation and you may edit your recording as you would any other Camtasia Studio project. For instance, you may want to insert a transition effect or some other type of media between two slides. First, you will need to split the clips on your timeline where you want to add this new media. You can make a split anywhere on the timeline using the split button. But if you want to split at the beginning of each slide, markers make your life easier. If you click on Edit from the menu bar, navigate to the Markers option and you will see three choices. Choose Split at All Markers and your timeline will update with the new splits. Let's go ahead and add a transition between two clips. I will select Transitions from the task list and drag my favorite transition between two clips on the storyboard. I'm going to click Finish and preview the project. It's that simple to create a smooth effect between different clips, such as learning topics, chapters, or screens. Maybe you have another video clip that you would like to insert into your presentation. Just import the media into your clip bin by clicking on Import Media and navigating to its location. Then, drag it between the correct clips on the timeline, like this. There are many other features within Camtasia Studio that enable you to customize your PowerPoint recording just the way you want. Maybe you need a title clip to help introduce the new media clip you just inserted into your project. Or, add a call out to focus in on a particular area of the screen. Create a flash quiz or survey to help keep your learners engaged. Or, how about utilizing the voice narration feature to re-record some audio in your project? The point I'm trying to make is that it is similar and just as easy to edit a PowerPoint recording as it is to edit a general screen recording in Camtasia Studio.